In this video, I will demonstrate patellar clunk after a knee replacement. Here we can see the thickened and fibrotic scar tissue that has formed just proximal to the patellar component of the knee replacement. This excess scar tissue can then get pinched or caught between the plastic, which you see on the left, and the metal on the right, which articulates as the knee bends and extends. As the knee flexes and extends, this excessive scar tissue can get caught between the metal and plastic, causing a reproducible clunk or pop in the knee. This tissue is identified and removed with the arthroscopic shaver. The arthroscopy allows for small incisions to thoroughly visualize and access the joint without recreating the large incision used to perform the knee replacement. Here you can really appreciate the thickness and the extent of this excessive scar tissue as it's removed with the arthroscopic shaver. After complete removal of the excess tissue, the retropatellar fat pad is visualized. This is also debrided with the shaver to remove excess scar tissue, and now you can readily visualize the components, including the plastic articulating surface and the metal articulating surface of the femur. The electrocautery device is used to further debride the tissue back to a stable edge and allow for hemostasis to prevent bleeding postoperatively. The knee is then taken through a range of motion through flexion and extension to visualize smooth movement of the components. We can clearly see the knee bending back and forth without the patella catching or without any scar tissue impinging upon the articulating surfaces. This concludes the procedure. The fluid and instruments are withdrawn from the knee and the small incisions are closed with absorbable sutures. The patient is now able to return to activities with no limitations. They are encouraged to work with physical therapy to maintain their range of motion and strength.